break down what happens every time you use your computer in just four steps. Input, processing, storage, and output. Step one, input. This is when you give your computer a command, such as typing on a keyboard, um, talking into a mic, um, using a touch screen, or touching a touch screen, or pressing a button on a game controller. Step two, processing. This is when your CPU or central processing unit processes what you input. It pretty much processes the command to figure out what you are trying to accomplish. Step three, after there is processing, you have storage or memory. There are two types of memory. That is volatile memory and non-vital vital memory. Vital memory is memory that is stored in your RAM or random access memory, which is only a temporary storage. Once your computer is turned off, then this data gets deleted or erased. Then you have non-vital memory. That is like your storage device, like your hard drive. This is when data gets stored for long periods of time and it stays there even when your computer is cut off and then when you turn on your computer you can reaccess that data so it stores it for a long period of time then you have the fourth step which is output this is when your CPU processes the data and then displays it to you such as displaying through your monitor displaying through a speaker so if you have a speaker and there is you're hearing something out of your speaker that's output and then or something like a printer that prints out a document so that's the basic of computer cycle if you like this video, hit that like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more tech information. See you in the next video.